Hi, my name is Colleen Gillis. I'm an attorney with Cooley, and I'm actually land use counsel here for Brambleton and Birchwood. In previous presentations, we've spoken with you about two parcels that are owned by the developer in the northwest corner of Brambleton, kind of tucked between Ryan Road and Evergreen Mills Road, off-site to the current Brambleton boundaries. These parcels are surrounded by other parcels owned by, by parties other than the developer, and those parties are thinking about whether or not they're going to file a zoning application, and if so, what it would look like. Given all of that activity in that portion of uh, the property, we've made a decision to pause and not move forward with a rezoning application at this time. We've had a pre-application conference but have not filed a zoning application. Should that change at some point in the future, we'll be sure to update you and let you know the status. The second application I'd like to talk to you about this afternoon is with regard to a piece of property all the way on the south side of Brambleton. The property is located here, south of the Broad Run floodplain, adjacent to Arcola Mills Drive and on either side of Belmont Ridge Road. This property uh, has been in for rezoning for almost a year and has been requested to be rezoned to PDIP. This designation of PDIP, Plan Development Industrial Park, is consistent with the board's recommendations under the 2019 Comprehensive Plan. Under the 2019 Comprehensive Plan, the board recommended that this property be rezoned to transition light industrial uses. And the board made that recommendation because of the, the property's location within the, the overflight from Dulles Airport and also the proximity to the transmission power lines just to the west. So the application proposes, as I said, to rezone it to PDIP with the possibility of doing data center development on the east side of Belmont Ridge Road and any PDIP use on the west side of Belmont Ridge Road. This application is scheduled to go to the Planning Commission for public hearing in late November with a Board of Supervisors public hearing either in December or January. Once we get through the Planning Commission public hearing, we'll report to the, your HOA and let them know the plan for moving forward to the Board of Supervisors. The last application I want to talk to you about this afternoon is comprised of two different parcels. The first parcel is located here on the south side of Evergreen Mills Road. As you might remember, the road used to be called Shreveport, uh, Shreveport Drive, and so we've called this parcel Shreveport Residential. That's one part of the application. The other part of this application is located in the southeast quadrant of North Star Boulevard and Evergreen Mills Road. We're calling this North Star East, obviously east of North Star Boulevard. These two parcels, the rezoning that we're processing right now, is to bring these parcels into conformity with that 2019 comprehensive plan. The comprehensive plan recommends residential on both of these parcels, and additionally, the comprehensive plan makes a policy recommendation to not locate uh, PDIP industrial data center uses immediately adjacent or right against residential. And so this property, Shreveport Residential, is currently permitted to be developed with data centers, but we recognize that in conformance with that policy from the county, that it makes better sense to rezone it for residential so that you have residential on both sides of Evergreen Mills Road in this area. Additionally, with North Star East, our proposal is to rezone it for residential with a modest amount of additional retail there to support the existing retail and also the residents that live in that neighborhood. This application is much earlier in the process than the one that I just spoke of, and so we are not yet even thinking about a Planning Commission public hearing date, and we'll be back to update you before we get there. Thank you so much for your time this afternoon and for giving us an opportunity to explain what's going on in and around Brambleton from a developer's perspective. If you've got questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to us at info at brambleton.com and we look forward to seeing you soon.